Hi folks, sorry it's been a while since we've um, discussed geometrical drawings and technical drawings so hopefully this should kick the ball rolling. So today we're going to be looking at the concept of division of lines and we're going to be doing that by going through two exercises. So the first exercise states, divide the given line AB of left 100 millimeters into the following, five equal divisions seven equal divisions and ten equal divisions and we're going to look at exercise two whereby we're going to see how we can divide the line based on the given ratio so the question reads divide the given line x y of left 100 millimeters to the given ratio two is to three is to five and one is to four is to seven so let's have a go All right, folks, so let's have a go working through this particular problem. So as I stated in the question, we've got a line of 100 millimeters and we're going to use geometrical drawing techniques to see if we can equally divide each line. So the first one, we're going to try dividing it into five equal parts. The second line of 100 millimeters, we're going to divide that into seven equal parts using the same technique that I'm going to show you. And for the third line, we're going to try to divide it into 10 equal parts. OK, so this is how we go about working through this particular problem. So for the first line, so what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to use a straight edge and I'm going to draw a line. And it's more or less up to you. I'm just going to call the end of this line A and that end B. And it's up to you in terms of how you want to go about doing this. I can either project a ray at an acute angle. So again, I would always suggest that if you're doing this, wherever the ray is, let it be no more than 60 degrees. Okay, so anything between, let's say, 20 degrees and 60 degrees should be fine. Okay, so again, you can use uh, good judgment in doing this, or you can use the set square as a guide to give you that uh, inclined ray. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to, I'm just going to use uh, good judgment, and I'm going to draw a ray and project through A like so. All right. Once I've done that, the next part is to divide the acute angle projection. So this line here, so again, for guidance purposes, I'm just going to call that ray um, C. So that's AC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a pair of compasses. So I'm going to open it to 20 mil or 25 mil. It's more or less up to you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand that A and I'm going to cut on the projection so that gives me, let's say, one. All right, so that gives me a position one. So I'm going to stand at one and scribe to cut the ray. So that would be R2, stand at two, cut the compass, and that'll give us a point three. Stand at three, cut the ray like so, and that'll give us a 0.4, and stand that four until you get a position five. So this is two, this is position three, position four, and five. So once we've done that, the next part is to join 0.5, to point B. So I'm going to stand at five and I'm going to draw a line like so to B. So we're almost done. So the next part is to 
get your set square. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to align the set square to ensure that I project lines to cut through the demarcation points along the inclined ray. Okay. So I'm going to get another pair of set squares to support. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide from 5B to 0.4 and draw a line parallel to 5B. Move to 0.3. Draw a line to cut our line AB. Project from 2 to line AB and project from 1 to AB. So by using this technique, I've divided, I've successively divided the line into five equal parts. So if we've done this correctly, if we take our rule, then it should measure 20 millimeters. And that's perfect, isn't it? 20 millimeters. Move to the next line. 20 millimeters. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing here. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing for the next line. So according to the question, so again, I'm going to call this A, B. So our line A, B measures at 100 millimeters. So we're going to use the same technique, but this time we're going to divide the line into seven equal parts. So let's do this. So I'm going to draw a line, okay? And the line I'm going to draw will always be between 60 and, uh, between 20 and 60 degrees. But like I said, use good judgment. If you can't, then like I said, use either the 45, 45 degree set square or the 30, 60 degree set square, okay? So I'm going to draw an inclined projection and I'm going to call that AC, all right? So again, take a pair of compass, compasses, and again, use good judgment, all right? So I'm, I've opened that to 20, degree, uh, 20 millimeters, and I'm going to stand at A, and I'm going to cut on AC, and that gives me a position one. So we're following the same process as we did before. So I'm going to put the compass point at one, and I'm going to use the compass to cut on AC, and that gives me position two. Stand at two. To cut the line to create position three, stand at three. Cut to create position four, stand at four. Cut to give you a position five, stand at five, cut to give you a position six, and then you stand at six, you cut an AC to give you a position seven. Okay, so I'm just going to two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so I think we're pretty good. So the next part, similar to the very first exercise, is to join seven to B. And I'm going at a snail's pace. So that if you want to work along with me, you can do so. All right. So now that we've done that, we're going to then get our set square. So I've got my pair of set squares. I'm going to align the set square to line 7B, like so. And then the next part is to get a straight edge or another set square. Place that at the bottom and we're going to slide the set square along the rule, ensuring that our projections from AC on the intersecting points are parallel to B7. So I'm going to shift the compass to 0.6, project to cut AB, slide the set square to 5, 
project, then at four, project and cut, at three, project and cut, at two, project and cut, and at one, project and cut. So as a result, we've got seven divisions on AB. So we've divided AB into seven equal parts. Okay. And the next one, we're going to divide the line. So again, I'm going to label that AB. And this time, I'm going to divide the line into 10 equal parts. So again, same technique, same constant, uh, concept. It's all about consistency. So what I'm going to do is this time, I'm just going to just be a bit awkward. I'm just going to project a line from B instead. So like I said, it doesn't really matter whether it's B you're going to start from the right hand side the left hand side doesn't really matter it's all about consistency so i'm going to project so i'm going to project a line like so and i'm going to call this projection um, b x y x oh no i just felt like it <laughs> then i'm going to open the comps to reasonable distance so this time let's reduce it to about 15. again just use the judgment so at b I'm going to put my compass point at B and then scribe to cut BX to give us a point one. Stand at one, cut our projection to give us a point two, and you just carry on accordingly as I've previously shown. So this gives us three, four, five. Six. Oops. So let's double check that. So again, let's see. Next cut. Next cut. All I just have to do is just um, extend a projection. Okay. So let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more points. Nine and ten. All right, so we're almost done. So very easy technique and part of the reasons why I'm actually um, showing this concept is that when it comes to other applications down the line this would be one of the tools that we're going to be using to support us with those type of events or exercises so similar to what we did previously the last point so point 10 I'm going to connect that to the end of the line should be A, like so. Okay. And similar to everything else, get our set square, align it to the father's demarcation on our projected ray, and join that to A. So I'm connecting 10 and A. Like so. Then aligning the set square to 10A. I'm going to then slide the set square. So, again, it's important to have it perfectly aligned, otherwise, you are going to make errors. And it's just a shame that some of these traditional techniques are being lost, okay? So slide to nine, project, 
slide two, eight, project, slide two, seven, project, slide two, six, project, slide two, five, project, slide two, four, project to cut, slide two, three, project to cut, slide two, two, project to cut, and slide through, one, project to cut. So using the same technique, we successfully divided line AB into 10 equal parts. Again, you can always check. So 100 divided by 10. So we've got a line 100 millimeters, divided it by 10. So each division should give you what? 10 millimeters or a centimeter. Look at that. Bang on. Bang on. Okay, look at that. Bang on. Okay? So, patience. A good eye for detail. And you should be able to do as I've done. All right, folks. So, see you for the next one. Bye, bye, bye.